Uh, it's always good to get quality back into the side. Uh, we believe that we've uh, we've had some good form um, you know, over the last two games, and we've had some players really stand up and play their roles well. But when you do get, uh, you know, I suppose, established quality back in the side, it's um, you know we hope that we can take another another step again. Yeah, Dids is uh, progressing really well. Uh, we won't um, he won't be named in the in the twenty five. Um, VFL don't play this week. We'd like to get you know, another couple of weeks of solid training into him and and uh, make sure that when we pull the trigger on him that he's ready to go and um, uh, ready to. We, we, we want him to prepare to perform and we don't. Um, we want to give him every chance to, to do that. Yeah, Daisy um, won't be up this week and we expect that he'll be available for selection against um, Brisbane for round seven. Yeah, well, look, there's always. Uh, Depends if the glass is half full or half empty. You can you can paint it whichever way you like. But um, after two games in in five days, it's um, it's great to have that breather. Um, we believe that we've balanced it up pretty well between you know, time off um, in regards to physical recovery, mental and emotional fatigue as well that happens after after having to get up for two games in, in such a quick um, period of time. Uh, but we we trained really well on Tuesday and and with. The boys were really sharp again uh, today, so we we believe that um, yeah the group's in in a, in a good state of mind to be able to perform tomorrow night. Oh look, he's he's been fantastic. Um, look right through the pre-season and, and early in the year, um, he provides a great deal of experience to what is you know realistically a, a quite a young coaching group. Um, you know, ben Hart. Robert Harvey are, are new to the club this year. I'm new to the role of head coach. Um, together with Matthew Lappin and Rodney, we basically make up the coaching panel as such. And uh, Rocket's you know, contributions can't be underestimated to each of us as as, as young coaches uh, and, uh, and to the program overall. He's um, He knows how football fits in with sports science, fits in with list management. Um, he's very personable. Um, has great relationships through the through the um, the football department and the, uh, the administration, and clearly uh, coming up against a side that he knows pretty well and the individuals within it, uh, we've tapped into that as much as we possibly could. Yeah, look, I think it's it's a it's a holistic you know, viewpoint that we look at. Like he's been he's been excellent on all levels in all facets against all opposition. So um, Rocket's not going to pump his tyres up, but I'll I'll pump them up for him. And um, yeah, he's been excellent for us and. Um, yeah, we feel that uh, clearly that we're a better organisation for his involvement, and um, we're still going to build from from where we're at at the moment. I just picture Robbo as a kid walking around with a magnifying glass looking for ant hills, and I reckon that's about what he's done. Um, sort of 24 hours ago, was just put a magnifying glass over someone, but the, you know, the ants at Collingwood aren't running around screaming, and Frio didn't bite, and GWS haven't bitten. It's everyone else that seems to be interested in it more than more than uh, the main players. No more or less than we would normally. Yeah, look, we I might have my head in the sand, but I'm very confident that Trav's going to be a Collingwood player for the rest of his career. He loves the place here. We've got a great environment. He's um, he's got great mates. Um, I think he's he enjoys it as much as he enjoys being here as much as we enjoy him being here and his contribution. And um, I do get a little affronted seeing him in opposition Guernseys in the paper that um, I don't think I'll ever get used to that, um, neither will he. Oh, he's one of the better, best players in the competition, so clearly he's up there. You know, he's, he's fighting for that mantle with, with Swanee himself, with um, Scott Pendlebury, with Dale Thomas. Um, you know, we'd like to think you know, blokes like Ben Reid, still side bottom, Harry O'Brien are, are very important to us as well. We're not about putting a hierarchy in place. Uh, and this team and the club will not be built on a hierarchy in the future. You know, our players, if, if they want to stay in this group, as successful groups have had to do in the past, will do so at a financial cost to the individual um, in order to stay together. We can't possibly, as a club, meet um, some of the offers that will cross the table of all of our individuals at various times. Uh, we probably weren't, weren't able to do it with Swanee, but he signed with Pendles, but he signed um, clearly with Daisy as well. So, you know, in the end, it's up to the individual to make that decision. But as a club, we're doing everything we possibly can.
Look, they've been they've been very good. Like they didn't get the results in the first three weeks, um, and but their last obviously their last two opponents, beating Melbourne and GWS, they've, I think they've, they've looked like they've built some confidence and some belief in the game style that that, um, that Brendan is, is trying to get across. Um, they've still got a lot of talent in the side. I mean, we're not going to be under any illusions about the quality of the, the side we're coming up against. We do believe we're building. Um, we do believe that there's areas that we can influence the game and influence the result and it really is going to be up to us to make sure we do that. No, I don't think you can do that in, t in two games, in two weeks, uh, but we have had a number of players that have stepped up and, um, and performed probably beyond the level that they'd shown before that. So, you know, Dane Beams has been excellent through there. Sherrod Williams obviously filling a very important role, still side bottom, Jared Blair. Probably the four, those four guys in the main have been able to to, to move into that void and, and um, improve their games. Um, obviously, the, you know, Scott Pendlebury and, and Dane Swan are very important in take, picking up that slack from the leadership perspective that, that Luke provides. Um, we believe when Dale Thomas comes back that that makes us better and we'll be looking at developing the midfield depth again and um, hopefully being able to buffer you know, the loss of, of Borley, but no, it doesn't happen in two weeks. It's going to be something that, that will be ongoing. Where's Woody at? It's just it's about 50 metres that way. It's, um, uh, Woody, sorry to be literal. Um, Woody was disappointing in his game against Carlton, as were 80% of our football side. He, uh, he was ahead of schedule to get back for that, given his shoulder injury. And we definitely will be needing him and we'll be calling upon him at various stages throughout the year to, to give Joel a breather um, and to you know, continue his opportunity to develop as a footballer. Um, you know, that's got to come off the back of good VFL form and, and he's got to be ready and looking for that opportunity when it comes. Yeah, we spoke about it straight after the game. I mean, really... It is a. It becomes the, the the benchmark that you don't want to fall fall below, and we've got KPIs around that that we measure internally, um, and some competition wide sort of KPIs that that we can measure against other sides as well. So we're pretty aware of of what that looks like. The players are more than aware of what that uh, needs, what, what standards we need to reach as a team. But also there's an ind individual onus on that. So defensive pressure is important, but so too is execution with the ball and making sure that you play your role and you're, you're in the, the right place at the right time for your teammates. So that's there's there's plenty of areas of the game that, that we believe that we've improved in the last couple of weeks, but there's still plenty of improvement as well. Oh look they've all they've all contributed in their own manner and in their own um, in their own time. Um, look even Seeds didn't have a great game against Essendon. He had seven tackles. And so that's a career best, you know, in, in a short four-game career, but um, you know, Sinclair's pressure and intensity has been excellent in the front half and you know, we'd love to, love to see him finishing off his chances a little bit more, but you know, we've been entirely encouraged by the way that he goes about his footy. Jackson Payne in his early, early games was, was good and he was very good in the VFL again uh, last week and he's progressing really well. Um, you know, we've had players that have come in, come in and played important roles, um, whether they're second or third gamers or whether they've played 30 or 40 or obviously whether they're um, you know, they're established players. We just need each of our players to be playing their roles and, and the, the young blokes have had opportunities to do that. Dorsey's work rate in the last couple of weeks has been has been on the rise and I've got no doubt that he's um, getting used to the role that we're asking him to play and he'll get better. He'll get better at that with the more exposure he gets uh, but I've got no doubt that um, He's, uh, he's on the verge of, of breaking through because he's, uh, he's back to the, the intensity and the work ethic that we've expected of him over the last couple of years. I think that was a bit off in the first three rounds. Um, but, um, yeah, he's on the cusp.